Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the terms organism, population, community, and ecosystem. We'll talk about their meanings and their differences, and then give examples of each. All right, so let's start with organism. And an organism is an individual, so one single living thing. And sometimes you'll see organism referred to as an individual. So for our examples, we have one single zebra or one single lily pad. So a single living thing for organism or individual. So after an individual organism, we move to population. And a population is a group of the same type of organisms. So we are growing in size here. We started with the smallest, right, an individual organism. Now we're going to a group of the same type of organisms in a given area. So for example, we have our population of zebras and our population of lily pads here. So same species of organism in the same area. Now, how do we determine what that area is? Well, the scientist or person studying that population determines what the area or space means. It could be something small like a single pond or maybe a couple square miles of land, what have you, or it could be something large like a whole state, part of a state, even part of a country. So a scientist or the person studying that population determines what that area or space means. So next we have community. A community consists of all the different populations within a given area, so all of the living things. So for example, we have a couple of different communities here, so all of the living things in those given areas would make up the community. So for example, all of the zebras, giraffes, ostriches, insects, bacteria, etc. are all members of this community here. And as far as the pond community, we would add all of the living things again. So all of the insects, the lily pads there, any birds or fish around. So those would all be members of that pond community. Now to take it a step further, we have an ecosystem. An ecosystem includes the community, but adds all of the abiotic factors within that given area as well. So all of the non-living things like temperature, sunlight, water, rocks, etc. So all of the biotic and abiotic factors in that area. Now we can even take it a step further. This is not written on your screen, but a biosphere includes all of the ecosystems on the planet. So planet Earth is a biosphere, all of the ecosystems combined. So there you have it. There are the meanings and differences between the terms organism or individual, population, community, ecosystem, and even biosphere. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.